Hello, Panda Nation. How are y'all doing? Good, great. Um, so I had a, uh, um, I guess, uh, illumination, illumination, a uh, little epiphany, I guess, and I thought I'd share it. Um, <clears throat> so, um, this one's about, um, the way, I guess, intuitives, intuitives, um, can get overwhelmed. Um, and let me just hit it off. So, let's see, this week I had some stuff come up. I gotta get my sons into, like, uh, there's a summer camp thing that they go to, to the Boys and Girls Club. And I gotta set that up. Um, I had some bill situations come up, um, <clears throat> one after another, um, and some other, th oh, phone situation, and it was one of these days that was just one task, you know, after another, and then, of course, my job, right? And I was like, this just drives me nuts, and, you know, life is life, you know, and we all have our stuff, and... Some people are like, oh my God, that's all. And I'm like, no, there's more. Um, but that's kind of my point is, uh, as an intuitive INFJ, AB, 6 Y, Z. And for the record, I am not limited by the four letters, but I can relate strongly to those letters. Um, I don't think we all are limited by the four letters, but it just helps as far as understanding social dynamics, at least for me. So... You know, all this stuff's going on for me. And what I, what I realized is that for somebody who is a rational thinker, a T versus an F, and <clears throat> preferably like a sensor type, ESTJ, perfect, ISTJ, probably ISTP, ESTP maybe. Um, those types of things, I don't, I'm thinking are not as... Um, Mm, stressful. I'm not saying that they're not at all, um, but it's different. And so let me give you the reason why I think so, at least for me, why for me. Um, because what happens is, as a, you know, INFJ, um, the sensing the SE, which is the um, inferior cognitive function, is constantly gathering in <clears throat> information, right? Sensing information, 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 right? And then what happens? Bam! The primary function of uh, inverted, invert, right? I keep saying, introverted intuition grabs this particular piece of information and what does it do? It attaches it to this universal pattern in and, and then it says, oh, that's what it looks like. That's, if you know what I'm saying, that's kind of how it works. And then the feeling kind of goes out there and maps it and feels it and looks at it with, with feeling, if that makes sense, versus thinking if it's an INTJ or, um, and, and then puts it in this pattern, in this universal almanac, universal Wikipedia, right? And so then you get all these day-to-day -day tasks, right? And you're trying to put them in this big theory. <laughs> you're like, oh my God, at least that's how I feel. And it just dawned on me that that's what's happening. And um, that is, so this is also a, a shout out to, to the sensors, uh, even the rationals, STs, I guess you could say, um, that have that ability to organize and to plan and structure things out because um, that to me is hard at times. I'm not saying it's impossible, but the ones I know, they, they do it with ease and I'm, I'm just like, how do they do that, you know? And <clears throat> they look at me like, you know, what's your problem? <laughs> so, you know, uh, I have admiration for that um, ability and um, it most definitely can be one that I, that I have grown in and will grow in some more but um, that's just something that I've known. The other thing is 
throw that into, to, into a, a communication dynamic, right? And no wonder, you know, in conversations, um, the other thing that I noticed is that um, there's the abstractedness of intuition. And it's one thing to have a different interest, and then another thing to have to be abstract versus more concrete and practical. Um, and I think, or I am seeing, that you know, regardless if you're intuitive or not, you can be a very deep thinker. And I already knew that before. Um, but it's just deep thinking and and different facets and different interests. Uh, but I think the the caveat is is the abstractedness. And, and that's, that's the difference. And so there is a really nice dovetail compliment. If you have um, sensor um, friends or family, you know, <clears throat> that can, uh, you can appreciate that about. So um, anyways, I thought I would run that by y'all and see what y'all thought, see if you can relate, um, if that makes sense. So, you know, you have all these these tasks or these uh, these jobs, and you know, as a, as an INFJ, you know, we or INTJ, um, we want to put that in this 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 global universal box, and we can't fit it, and we're like, Ugh! and so our intuition is trying to you know to to wrap around it, and um, and then another one comes and another one comes. And what we really like doing, or what I like doing, is, is just focusing on that one thing, right? And because that's what we're good at, because of the primary function of the intuition. So, <clears throat> anyways, I just wanted to share that, and um, I hope you'll get something out of it. Thanks.